Hello, I am Malinda from WSO2 Engineering Team and welcome to the second tutorial on quick tour of API Manager Micro Gateway. In the first tutorial, you learned to create micro gateway projects. We created two projects for a single API and a group of APIs. In this second tutorial, I will show you how to run a micro gateway and invoke the APIs in it. I will start from one of the projects we created, which is Info APIs project. There are two APIs grouped by it, which are PizzaShack API and PetStore API. And all the required artifacts are generated from micro gateway setup command. Now I will run micro gateway build Info APIs project to build the project. It will take a couple of seconds. Once it is successful, you can see a micro gateway distribution is generated in the target folder. Let's navigate to the target folder and extract the zip file. And then navigate to the bin folder of the distribution. Here you can see there are two startup scripts. Gateway is used to run in Linux environment and gateway.bat is for running in Windows environment. I'll start the micro gateway using gateway script by bash gateway. The gateway started now with two APIs. It opens three ports 9096, the token API port 9095 is the HTTPS port. 9090 is the HTTP port. Now we have successfully started the micro gateway. Let's look at generating an access token and invoking the APIs. In install portal, I have created an application called InfoApp and subscribe to both Pet Store and PizzaShack APIs. In this example, I have used JWD as a token type when creating the application. Now let's generate an access token. Let's copy the access token to the clipboard and go back to the overview of one of the APIs. Here you can see the URL of the label when I specified when creating it from admin portal. Let's go back to the terminal and invoke the APIs. I'll now invoke the get menu resource of the PCSAC API from a curl command. I have used the access token I just generated in the authorization header and use the micro gateway URL from the APIs overview in the store portal. This is the response from the micro gateway. Let's invoke the fetch store API in the same way. Ok, that's it on running a micro gateway and invoking the APIs. In the next tutorial, we will look at running a micro gateway on docker and Kubernetes environments. Thank you.